coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got for you, ooh, look at that, naked noodle. Naked noodle, Japanese teriyaki made in the United Kingdom and it's vegetarian. Well, and there's the lid. So, that. Kind of a scary part of this one is, look at that. <laughs> it's not it's not expired either, but it makes you think, wow, what's the what's the story there? But you add the boil, uh, add everything in, and then you add boiling water, and you stir it, and then you give it another four minutes. This is doomed. I'm feeling a little doomed right now. I'm trying my best not to make a mess because messes are not good I've already made a mess with the last review there we go. all right so there we go this one is four minutes oh whoa what what the hell? No. What's going on? Why forth? Okay, something's going on. Oh, I know what's going on. How about that? That should do it. Yeah, so when the power cable for this thing gets in the wrong spot and touches the screen, that's when the crazy, crazy happens. Okay, yeah, Japanese teriyaki soup. That, that doesn't bode well, I don't know. It doesn't sound like something that'll work, but you never know. I'm pretty sure though. I found this at Walmart here, uh, where, in like Bellevue, Washington, when I was looking for the Nissen Cup Noodles Pumpkin Spice. That was a debacle. Finding that stuff was really hard. But once I found it, we got like a, a horribly large amount of it. And I've got a horribly large amount of it still. And it's like, my plan was like, oh wow, these are gonna be worth a ton. People are gonna want, no. <laughs> and now I just feel like a big poop. You ever feel like a big poop? Well, that's how I feel right now. Cause now we, we went hunting for this stuff. One, two, three, four. Never found. Well, then, then we found it, and now we've got like a ton of it. And it's not like, I mean, it's it's uh, May second. Who wants to eat pumpkin spice right now? Not only that, I've been uh, doing my whole diet thing again. I had the first possible inkling of it actually working well threw my coat on this morning it's like wow you know seems a bit roomier so that's that's a plus yeah like yesterday I walked 10 miles I've been trying to keep it under 1500 calories a day that combo I'm gonna tell you I don't care who you are if you can do that you're gonna you're gonna shrink and my uh the app that I use keeps saying, hey, maybe you should step on the scale, but I'm, I'm not doing it. The first time when I first lost all my weight, if you, if you look up episodes of this show from like early 2018, you'll definitely see a difference. Um, I, I lost a lot of weight. It was good. It is good. Um, but uh, the pandemic diet and gets things back and all that. So. <laughs> Not it, not as much as I lost, obviously, but still. Anyways, uh, yeah. So if you diet and exercise, you will lose weight. It's true. It's freaking true. No matter how much I diet and exercise, I can't lose weight. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's not true. You just have to, you know, if you're not doing it, do it harder. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. 
maybe there are people that can't pull that off, but it's difficult. It is. But what is it? I haven't had a beer in a couple of weeks. Actually, it's today I haven't had a beer in two weeks. I haven't had pizza in 70 days. No, I had pizza right after my wife's birthday. So that, but, but that was the one occasion in like maybe three months that I've had pizza. And I had ice cream. Like I think that's the 70 days ago. But even then, I was eating diet ice cream. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, yeah, and doing a ton of walking, doing about 10 miles a day, so, yeah, it's fun, I like it, it feels as if I'm being productive, plus I'm doing three noodle reviews a day, and getting three ready for the next day, that's good too, but anyways, we have mere seconds, mere no, we have a minute and three seconds left. Uh, this one being produced in the UK, a big shout out to uh, JB from the Ramen Junkies group. Uh, he's in the UK, so he knows. Knows that. Oh yeah, guinea pigs are chilling. We'll do a check in on the guinea pigs, although I think they're well fed and they're basically doing nothing at the moment. So yeah, yep, 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 yep. I think it's almost done, I don't know. I don't know. I think my daughter just said it, she's like, Yeah, the boy's off to school, now the girl's about to go off to school in about an hour and a half. Then my wife and I are going to run some errands and come back and get her off the bus. All that good stuff. The circle of life. Ooh, this looks like to have kind of almost like a pudding consistency. That sounds exactly like Japanese teriyaki. And it smells exactly like Japanese teriyaki. It smells very, uh, very salty, because teriyaki generally isn't very sweet. Although I gotta say, this company's had some varieties that I've found to be pretty decent, more or less palatable. So here is our ramen. Give it a try. I have no idea what this tastes like. Hmm. Yeah, that's a big fat no. Wow. So Generally, the way I review is, so like, say you take something, we can just call it Stumpy's Chicken Ramen, right? Does it taste like chicken? No? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Does it exhibit the characteristics of, of ramen? Like, does it have real, like, noodles and stuff? No? Okay. Yeah, teriyaki soup. I almost feel like just like leaving it like this is a shame thing, but we'll uh, we'll spruce it up. Looks can be deceiving though. Here's some spring onion. Oh, oops, I got a Fresno pepper. Who wants peppers on teriyaki? But I mean. This isn't teriyaki. This is this is so far removed from anything resembling anything like that. Is it a zero star? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a zero star, but it wouldn't be a bottom ten lister. 
just due to the fact that, I mean, if you buy this saying, hey, I want some teriyaki soup, even as gross as you would be for even thinking of doing such a thing, or like thinking that sounds good, this doesn't even have anywhere near that kind of thing. So, I would just call it gravy soup. Enough of that. Next up, we've got one. I'm pretty sure it came from exoticnudes.com. Go over there and use the coupon code the ramen raider for a discount. This is uh, Ming Ming Zhu Konjac Sour Spicy, Hot and Spicy, Spicy and Sour Konjac Noodle by Ming Zhu. It's kind of one of these flower pot style ones. This uses konjac, and that's basically like there's no calories in konjac, so it's uh, it's weird stuff, weird wild stuff. So you'll get to see that tomorrow. This has been Anza Ramenator wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.